Hi, my name is George Welsh and I'm the director for the Flight Test Museum at Edwards Air Force Base. Join me for a quick preview of the new Flight Test Museum currently under construction just outside the base, which will allow full public access. As home to the Air Force Test Center, Edwards Air Force Base is the center of excellence for flight test research and development and evaluation of aerospace systems from concept to combat. It operates the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School and hosts the Air Force Research Laboratory's Rocket Lab, NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center, and test activities conducted by America's commercial aerospace industries, both big and small. Edwards has played a key role in the development of virtually every aircraft and rocket to enter the U.S. inventory since World War II, and it has been the site of almost every aviation breakthrough in the last 80 years. The Flight Test Museum's mission and purpose is to preserve, display, educate, and inspire the public about those 80 plus years of flight test history. Our education center provides free educational programs on the principles of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that are used daily in flight test and aerospace research. By using the actual examples of advancements in aerospace that are featured in our collection, our goal is to expand the students' knowledge, inspire, and motivate our future generations. Currently, the museum directly supports the efforts of the Air Force STEM outreach programs, the Starbase program. We support dozens of colleges and universities and more than 26 school districts located throughout Southern California. The museum's collection includes more than 60 historic test and prototype aircraft, plus thousands of artifacts, including wind tunnel models, ejection seats, pressure suits, aircraft and rocket engines, and ground support equipment. Also included are dozens of personal collections donated from individuals that were involved in flight test research. The vast majority of the aircraft and artifacts in our collection were actually used and flown at Edwards, thus making this the most unique aerospace museum collection in the world. Exhibits inside the museum will cover such diverse subject as the development of stealth, experimental one-of-a-kind aircraft, X-planes, and research aircraft. This will be the only museum in the world to exhibit three blackbirds, included the very first A-12 and the very last SR-71 to fly. The Flight Test Historical Foundation, a private not Profit 501c3 organization is raising the funds needed to build a new 75,000 square foot facility. It will include a dedicated STEM education center and the Bob Hoover Flight Test Research Library, fully supported by SETP, the Society of Experimental Test Pilots. The new facility currently under construction is located just outside the Edwards Westgate off of Roseman Boulevard, thus allowing full access to the public. Groundbreaking for this new museum has been completed. Once full funding is obtained and full construction is completed, the public will finally be allowed to view these rare, one-of-a-kind aircraft and the impressive collection of artifacts currently housed in museum warehouses. But we need your help to make this happen. Without you, it doesn't happen, as only private funds can be used in the construction of the new museum and education center. Please visit our website at www.flighttestmuseum.org to see how you can help make this museum and education center a reality.